In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to print halftones using action steps with Photoshop to almost any inkjet printer, and I'm going to show you three different examples. Let's go. Welcome back, Matt with Mikey Designs here, creator of Action Steps. Let's dive into how to print halftones to any printer, and I'm gonna show you three different examples, printing it to three different printers. So let's go ahead and dive right in. We have our separation here that we are doing for a client. Now, one of the first things you're going to do is you're going to save this as an EPS, but before I move on to that step, I'm just going to go up to file and I'm going to go to print and I'll show you why it's important to save it as an EPS. Now if I go over here to where it says color handling, you can see that separations is grayed out and I'm not able to select separations in order to print half tones. So let's go ahead and we'll hit cancel here and we're going to come down here to step number six where it says save as DCS 2.0 EPS. So let's go ahead and click on that and we'll save this as a DCS2. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. And what that did is it got rid of our RGB channels and our t-shirt color, which we don't necessarily need. Now let's go ahead and we'll run it through Action Rip and I'm going to set this at 45 LPI. So we'll scroll down here to where it says 45 LPI, and we'll go ahead and we'll click on that. And we'll hit continue. This is basically saying that we just need to keep track of what colors we have here. Very simple, we have a white base, black, red, lemon yellow, green, and a highlight white. I'm going to hit continue. Now that put all of our separations into different windows, which is absolutely fine. You could actually just go ahead and start printing like that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge all those steps now, which is the final step. So we're going to click merge steps now. We'll hit OK and then it's going to say multi-channel. We'll just continue to hit OK and next until all of our steps are merged into one file. Now I can come over here and I can just rename those and this is going to put it in order. This would be our white base. This would be our black. We have red, our lemon yellow, we have our green, and our highlight white. Now that we have all that done, what we can do is we can go to File, and we'll go to Print. Now if we come down here to Color Handling, I'm able to select Separations. It's actually already pulled up. Uh, depending on what version of Photoshop you have. It might be over here to the right hand side, but you just want to look for color management and find that option to go from Photoshop manages colors to separations. Now I have my printer selected. This is one of the printers I'm going to do an example on, and this is just a plain black and white copier. And you would want to make sure that all of your print settings are correct. So we'll click on show details. This particular printer will only do eight and a half by 11, which is fine. We'll just hit save. So you wanna be cautious of your print settings and make sure that you have everything set to uh, your printer that it's going to print on the correct size piece of film and that you're set to black and white only. Now we're going to scroll down here and in our case, it's, it's scaling it down to fit it with this particular printer. You generally wanna make sure that this is 100%. We'll just type in 100% for now. And this is where you would put in your registration marks. Now, if I were to uh, scale this to fit, you would see that we have registration marks up here at the, the top hand corners as well as the bottom hand. So again, just make sure that you have the proper size film and that your image is at print size, just like in some of the earlier tutorials, some of the very first ones that we just wanna make sure it's at the proper print size. And something else that we can do, we can click description in which that will put the title of the file that we're working with at the top of our film. You can choose to use that or not. 
I definitely would recommend to put labels. Go ahead and click that. And what that will do is when it prints each piece of film is it will label every single one of those with whatever channel you're currently working with. And then from here, we would just hit print. I'm just going to hit done for now. And I want to jump back over here to my channels window. Now, whatever you have an eye on next to that channel, that's what it is going to print. So if you have all of them on, it is going to print every single one of those separations. I would suggest starting out with one just to make sure you have everything dialed in. And then you can move on to turning the rest of them on and printing the, the rest of the sequence. But for now, I'm going to just go ahead and print the white base. So let's go back to file. We'll hit print. We got separation selected. It's going to our black and white printer. We have this scaled down. I did that just to kind of show the registration marks and the, the file name, but we'll leave it scaled for now. And then we'll show a, a full size representation here in a moment. We got our registration marks, our labels, and we are good to go. So let's go ahead and we'll hit print and we'll send it to our printer. Here we are over by our black and white copier. You can see here is the separation with the half tones all printed out onto a piece of paper. Obviously we can't use a piece of paper. There are some translucent films that you can run through a laser copier. And you can see that it included our file title name along with the name of the separation color. Let's move on to our next printer, which is our Epson 1430. It has all black inks in it, which we mainly use, that's all we use it for is black and white printing. So let's go ahead and show you an example of it printing out of this printer on 13 by 19 film. Let's go. Here we are at the other computer. I'm going to select Epson Artisan 1430. We'll come down here to Photoshop manages colors and we'll select separations. We'll scroll down, make sure it's 100%. I'm going to turn on my labels and my registration marks. So now we got our registration marks. And this time around, we'll print the black. Let's double check our print settings. 13 by 19 film. Print settings, I have it on semi-glossy and photo. And we'll go ahead and we'll hit save and print. And there we go, just like that. We have our film with our half tones. We've got our document title and the name of the color of the film for the separation. Now let's go ahead and print to our Epson 4800, our wide format printer. And I'll show you how I'll go about doing that. And this one actually has all of the colors in it. So I'm gonna show you how we would set it up to print just black and white only. We're gonna come over here and select our printer, which is the Epson Stylus Pro 4800. We have separation selected. We'll click on our print settings. We do want it to be on 17 by 22 roll paper because that's what we have in the printer. And we'll come down here to print features. We have it set to 17 by 22. I have it set to premium semi-gloss so we get a nice print. And our color is set to black, rather than it being colors, that way we'll print the black only. For print quality, we have it set to 1440. So we'll hit save. We'll scroll down. Our scale's at 100%. We have our registration marks on, our labels, and we'll hit print. And just like that, we have film printed by printer number three, and we have the name of the color of the separation on the film. Thanks for tuning in. I hope this tutorial is helpful. Obviously, we can't cover every single printer, but you can see that it is quite easy to print separations from Action Steps and Photoshop to whatever printer you're using at home or in your shop. And until next time, we'll see you later.